Hey everybody, it's Bander Terrell again, and I'm back with another video on how to do Blender for Second Life. This is going to be part two of the series of building this deck with a hole in it, which is for a sunken fire pit. And so, uh, as it stands right now, this, this is exactly where we left off. So we have the mesh pretty much done, but I want to... Uh, I want to work on splitting it up into separate pieces so that we can um, so we can take it into Second Life without having to do physics. As it is right now, it's a it's a big cube with a hole in the middle of it. And if we were to import this without met without physics, you would not be able to step down into the hole in the center. You would you would uh, be standing there in in the middle of the air as if you were floating, and we don't want that. So going to work on a way to do that without having to use physics okay so the the fastest and easiest way that I know to do this is to basically select all of the parts that we want to separate out and then just split them off and so if you look at this let's look at it from above I'm gonna hit 7 on the keypad which gives me the overhead view so and I'm gonna I'll show you what I'm talking about. So I want, it doesn't matter where I start. I want two of the pieces to be long, like, like that. So I'd have that one. I'd have these. And then each of these would be a separate piece. So there would be four pieces all together. Okay. So in order to do that, I need to select all the faces in this area on all the different sides. And so in order to do that, you turn on this transparent view up here, which lets you see through the object. Okay, so now we're in object mode, now we're in edit mode. It puts a little dot when you're in face mode, which I am right now. It puts a little dot in the center of the, of the faces, and as long as you select that, you get the face. Now, by doing a box selection, which means I, I drag and draw a box, it's going to select all of the faces that I'm looking at, but because I have the transparent view turned on, it's going to actually see through the object and select all of the faces because I can see all of them. As you can see here, I'll show you. See, it selected all the way around. But if I, let's go back up to 7. If I turn off transparent view up here and then I just select, you get yourself into some trouble because you think, oh, I think I, I got them all. But then when you look around, you realize I only got the ones on top because those are the only ones that I could see. Go back to seven, turn transparent back on, and then we're gonna select. Now you, it, you get in trouble if you select too much, right? You don't wanna do that. But because they have these little dots, you know you just have to go around the dots and it selects those faces. So as long as I get all of those dots, I select all of those faces. Now I wanna do all the way across, so I can just do like that. Now I'm confident I selected them all, but if you just wanna make sure, just cam around it and you can see yep I selected all of them okay so once that's done then the the commands that you want to use to split this apart and separate it are you have to do Y first and then P so hit Y and then hit P and a little separate panel will pop up and pick selection so it'll separate the things that I have selected okay and then I hit tab to get out and now I have one object two objects okay now I'm gonna go ahead and hide this object because mm, no I won't not yet let's go back up to seven and then select this object hmm something oh yeah I didn't get that one okay sorry I'm just backing up Okay, seven, I missed one. So you get all of those. Now I have these two as well. Okay, do you see what I did? There's a little black dot here. And so those are not vertexes. Those are the center points of a face. So because I can see there's a black dot there, that means there's a center dot right there. See it? So if I select all of them, and, and you're safe because there isn't, oops, there isn't any black dots here, right? So as long as I select all of those, 
I'm okay. Just to make sure, let's look. Okay, yes. Okay, so let's do it again. Y, and then P, and selection. Okay, and then I can hit, I just left clicked out here in open space, and then hit tab. Then I left clicked out here again. All right, let's go back up to seven, look down, okay, and go to edit mode. And let's do the same thing, but select these. Make sure, yep, I got it this time, looks right. Y, P, selection. Okay. Now these two, I could leave as like that, but the problem is I still need physics because it's going to try to fill in this gap. So it, it will think that the area between them is solid. So I have to make these separate. So again, go to seven, pick the object, go to tab to go to edit mode, and then we're just going to select the ones on the left. And then we're going to do Y, P, selection. And now I have the four pieces that I want. So I'm going to turn off transparency. I don't need it on right now. Okay, so I have this one, this one, this one, and this one. All right. So now I'm just going to work on one of these at a time. So I'm going to take that one and I'm going to select everything else, which is Shift and then H for hide. So if you select an object and you hit Shift H, instead of hiding the object, it hides all the other objects. The other way to do that is I can do Alt H to bring them all back. I can also isolate this and just work on that by hitting the, the slash or question mark key. It doesn't hide them, it just isolates this, okay? So what am I doing? I wanna fill these holes in. Remember I talked about having holes is usually not a good thing when you try to do beveling or stuff like that it doesn't work so let's go ahead and edit this and we're going to fill in some of these holes as best we can let's see i'll take this face oops i gotta go to face mode two for face mode and let's do that and not sure if this is all going to work oh i don't need to bevel these anyway okay yeah i'm not going to bevel these so i think we're good let's just get rid of these faces face mode we're going to go here sorry delete faces faces Yep, okay, and then I gotta go, I hit, hit, hit the slash or question mark again, it goes back. Okay, let's do this one. I think I could just do it from there, let's just go back. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of all this interior stuff, I don't really need it. Select all three, go to edit mode, select, select, select. Faces, okay, there you go, now it's hollow. I'm also going to go ahead and delete the ones on the bottom. So we're going to go. Let's select all four. Edit mode, go to the bottom. We're going to select all of these pieces. I think you can do select similar, select similar and do normal. Or coplanar maybe, let's try for normal. Nope, see so I got those up there, I don't want that. Okay, All right. there's a way to paint this on it, I forgot how to do that. So you can actually select by painting. Saves you, come on, pick what I want. Okay. And grab all these. Let's 
selected the wrong thing. Yeah, I was selecting that inner edge there by mistake. Let's just move this around a little bit. But everything. Oop, I missed one here. What about that corner? All right, that's everything that I wanted to delete. Okay, so I got everything off the bottom. All right, so now I have it in four pieces and the bottom, but um, I want to separate the decking and the siding from the frame. So to do that, we're going to do just like we did before. We're going to, I still have everything selected in, in edit mode, right? So just to make sure, let's get out of here. So see, I have all four objects selected and then go back to edit mode. Now we're going to select, it's, it's very tricky to select all of these pieces, so we're not going to. We're going to go in here and we're going to do this. We're going to select all the faces for the decking and the siding. Okay. Should be everything that is everything. But that's not what I want selected. I want the opposite of that. I want the things that I don't have selected. So there's a, there's a control called Select Invert. So it says, okay, deselect all the things you have selected and select all the things you don't have selected. So you hit that, and now it's got the frame selected. Right? And I think I can do Y and P, and then it'll, I think it'll work. It might put them all in one, but I'm not sure. Let's try it. Y, P, selection. Okay. That's the frame, the frame, frame, the frame. Okay, and then the deck pieces are all separate. So, okay, we now have it in the, the pieces that we want. So that was quick. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and before I, I'm going to do one more thing before we end this. I'm going to add a floor shadow. So let's go up to seven, so we can look down. We're gonna add a plane. So hit Shift A for add, mesh plane. There it is. And then we're just gonna scale it with S, and then we're gonna pull that out until it's just out here past the size of our, our uh, cube or deck right okay so that's it's bigger so the shadow this is cast will show up on here around the edges so it'll look like it's sitting on the ground now that's not going to be at the bottom it's going to be right in the middle so we have to select this let's look at it from the side with a three on the number pad zoom in move this up and then we're going to g for move and then z on the z-axis and then move it down to just below that and if we zoom really well in, you can see where it's at. It's got a gap, which I don't want. So now G, Z, and move it back up. Just underneath it like that. Okay. And then if you look at the bottom and you see it poking through, you know you went too far. Which I don't. Okay. Uh, maybe a little bit. No, that's okay. I think that's all right. Okay. So there I have a floor shadow, and I have... My, my my decking and siding and my frames. So what I want to do is I want to apply some materials to this. I haven't done my UV mapping yet. I'll do that in the next video. But I want to go ahead and apply materials to this. So select the floor shadow. Click on the material tab. I'm going to do new. And we're going to put the name is floor shadow. 
This is needed by Substance Painter. This is how Substance Painter separates things. It doesn't do it by object, it does it by material. So for each thing that you want to have the same material, you just name them the same. So all of these are frames, so I'm just going to give them a material called frame. Okay, and then I'm going to pick the other frame, and I'm just going to come up here and pick frame. Oops, this one, frame. I got a camera around. And not that this frame. Okay. So all of them are called frame, 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 frame. Okay, and then these are going to be called deck. So let's do new deck. Then pick the next deck and you just pick from the drop down. Okay, so now all of our parts have materials applied. So this is floor shadow, frame, 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 deck, 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 deck. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to save this. Do save as, and I'm going to call it sunken fire. Hit deck new. Okay, so we have it saved and we haven't UV mapped it yet, so I don't want to export it. So the saving was just for my benefit. Okay, next video we will be doing UV mapping and taking it into Substance Painter and Second Life. Anyway, so thanks for watching. Uh, come back and check out video number th part three, which will be out soon. And uh, let me know what you think.